Well, Gonam is the Egyptian activist who started the Arab Spring. He used social media to unite Egyptians and create a movement that led to the overthrow of a dictator five years ago. Well now has a new discussion platform called Parlio, which aims to spark intelligent conversations around the issues of our day. I sat down with Whale and his team to discuss Parlio and how we can use online tools to create the change we want to see in the world. The idea of Parlio came as a, as a consequence of what I've witnessed on social media for over three years. I anonymously created a page after the death of a young man named Khalid Saeed, and that page became pivotal in the activism movement. Two years later, I kind of looked at the environment and how highly polarizing it was and how the internet was actually contributing to that polarization and I decided on stopping the use of social media completely. The one thing I felt was like, wow, this same, same tool, same set of products that helped us unite and get together to topple dictators uh, is now tearing us apart. What are you hoping that Parlio can help in this situation? I think it's, it's, it was essential from, from day one to set up a very strong culture. We, uh, we are really after intelligent conversations. We want people to talk to each other, um, especially those who disagree. A lot of the conversations we have on Parlio are around really controversial issues. In this example, this is a discussion about the Black Lives Matter with people from both sides arguing for and against the movement. We also get feedback from the community to judge the quality. So you know, if I click feedback, I can say that this particular entry you know, is an ad hominem attack irrelevant to the discussion. What we're trying to do is create a different kind of social media experience where you have the possibilities for democratization. You have a really democratic space where people can express their views, but it doesn't descend into chaos or trolling. <laughs> Parlio has a totally different community, so it's a lot less chaotic than these larger social media platforms. And you're likely to get comments or responses from people who are in your field or who know about the topic that you're describing. I come from journalism, so I would post my own articles and put them on Parlio to see if I could get a different kind of response that I was getting when I posted them on Twitter, for example. There's a lot of attention today on social media on the how many, how many views, did it get viral, how many likes, how many retweets, um, how many people shared your post and we kind of automatically shifted our attention from how much impact whatever I wrote is making in the world. Is it really about the numbers? The numbers could be one of those, nar one of those ways to look at the impact, no, no question about that, but also there is some some way we have to look at the who and we have to look at the impact. Um, am I writing to get the likes of people who agree with me so they're just confirming their biases by clicking like or am I writing to actually appeal to those who don't understand my point of view and I'm trying to articulate that maybe in the hope of better understanding or maybe they change their mind. One of the things that we're all trying to do here together is try to see how many different voices we can get on this platform and I think some of the most Compelling examples of what's been happening on Parlio is when you see two people who completely disagree about a topic. It can be something about gender, it can be about race, it can be about gun control, and they come onto Parlio and they discuss this in a calm, civilized way. Astro Nomani wrote a piece for the um, Washington Post about hijab in Islam, and she was arguing that wearing hijab, a hijab is essentially a symbol of, of oppression. Now, this is a very controversial subject. So we can see in this case, Shadi Hamid, who um, is a senior fellow at the Brookings Institution came in and wrote this really lengthy response agreeing with some of the points she wrote but also challenging a lot of her assumptions. Then she came back in, replied to some of the points he was making. We had other people jumping into the conversation as well but overall it was a very constructive uh, conversation. You're clearly someone who understands how to use social media to develop a movement. What would you, what kind of advice would you give other people who want to use Parlio or they want to use other forms of social media to get their point across and to, to maybe start to make change in the world. Part of this whole um, notion of activism uh, was that I was being anonymous. People did not feel that someone is stealing credit. People did not feel that someone is doing this to show off and appear on TV and talk about it. Uh, they felt that this is their cause, no one owns it, so everybody owns it. One of the things that we're all trying to do here together is try to see how many different voices we can get on this platform to highlight the potential of social media and that, you know, you could, here's, a, here's an amazing platform where people from all over the world, where people with different views and where people who would not ordinarily meet can come together. I believe that's why we kind of like, when we build this, we focus focused more on conversations and not 
just broadcasting. I believe the internet of today should be able to deliver that. And that's what we hope for Parleyu.